Well, that cold air can have a obvious dangerous impact on a person's health and home. WGN's Jewel Hillary live in Roscoe Village tonight with more on how to keep your furnace working and your body safe from frostbite because it's easy to do there, Jewel. Oh yeah, it is freezing out here, Micah. Hey, Micah and Ray. So while it's really important to uh, keep yourself layered up really well outside, it's also very important to protect your home in the cold too. Heating experts that we talked to gave us some recommendations on how to help you keep you and your home safe and warm. On bitterly frigid days like this, calls are coming in nonstop oh, thank you for calling top line. at Topline, an HVAC company in Skokie. When the temperatures get this low, the furnaces overwork and they work nonstop. Uh, and then that's when they start breaking down. Heating experts say replacing your furnace filter regularly is a common fix to keep your home heated. If you don't change the filter, though, you and your home could be at risk. From time to time, especially if we haven't had it service for quite some time, uh, what will happen is, is that it doesn't shut down. It continues working, it overheats, and then you'll have a major problem on your hand with possibly a carbon monoxide leak or something can happen with a fire as well. According to city documents, there's an ordinance requiring residents to have working carbon monoxide detectors to help protect from potential leaks from a furnace. If you use a space heater, it's recommended you get one that's UL certified. You're also advised to keep it at least three feet from anything that can ignite. And while taking care of home, limit your time outside as much as possible. It's vital to protect yourself as well. Medical experts say frostbite can form within 10 to 15 minutes when sub-zero temperatures settle in. You can have frostbite, you can have hypothermia, and in bad cases, frostbite can proceed to gangrene. Back out in the cold. This isn't too much for me. I actually grew up in Minneapolis. So negative 20 wind chill days are just kind of the usual. It's a little rough. I'm trying to, to layer up as much as possible. I'm like, wow, I wish I was at home. I wish I didn't have to leave the house, but here we are. Well, that pretty much sums it up. Now, when it comes to those furnace repairs, the folks we talked to say, please be patient because as labor and equipment shortages have made it a little bit more challenging to quickly get to customers efficiently. For now, reporting live in Roscoe Village, I'm Jewel Hillary, WGN News.